and welcome to my LUFC vlog. Today we're talking about the Cardiff game. But if you want reaction on any other Legion game of the season, you can do that on my channel. But without further ado, let's go with the Cardiff game. So today we won 2 0 against Cardiff, which is a very good away result because you net up there in the playoffs. And I've heard, you know, if you listen to the Legion video show, you know, no Whedon criticizes this. And you know, you can tell that they don't really have a style of play. Do you know, the going game's a bit clueless, not really know what to do, just passing the ball around to see what happens. But there was definitely um, a style of play in this game. There was definitely a target, and it was counter attacking football. You know, they had so many chances. They hit the bar, they hit the post. They came close a lot of times. Even when they had a man sent off around um, the hour mark, they were still dominating. But we counterattacked, played very really well on the counterattack. I, I wouldn't say it's an amazing performance, but it's a good away performance because away performances shouldn't be the same as home performances. Counterattacking, what on the front foot? The Carver's goal kick get a bit lucky. He takes a deflection. But in ga games like this, when you win games like this, when you're, you know, I think Leeds are up to 15th now, when you're there and you're playing a team in 8th or 7th or just near the playoffs, you all need a bit of luck. Um, they, they just carried on dominating. We were very much under the cross. I thought um, the defense played really well, really, really solid. Um, and the first thing we got is something else, you know, I've criticized each other about is how slow they are at um, passing. They were much quicker. It was it was more one, one two touches and pass. You know, before it would be about, you know, f three, four touches or more, and then they release the ball. Carver is very culprit of that, but he was very quick at getting the ball away ways, getting the ball away from his feet this time. Um thought he was really good. Uh, and then Anthony Nietzsche obviously gets another goal which is great because you know you just want to see him get his confidence back. You just want to see him, you know, get loads of goals. That's three in two games. And I know it was a ninety fourth minute goal and we might have won without it. But it's a great goal, you know, another counter attacking goal. And you know, anyone who's looked at the stats can say, you know, kind of dominated. But Leeds defended really well. And we're really good on the counter, so you know, overall it was a good performance. We did what we needed to do. So credit to Evans, who obviously changed the tactics. It's a brave move when you're winning, uh, when you're well, when you're winning, when you won last game, so that you could beat Cardiff. And it was great tactical. And you know, I've heard a lot of people saying, "Oh, Evans, he hasn't got the tactics. He isn't tactically aware." Well, that was, I mean, that game was one of the good tactics. Uh, I also think, I know a lot of people will say, you know, sack Steve Evans. But we need to stick with the manager where we can build a squad. I know, I know some people are saying, well, Steve Evans isn't the right man. But if you sack Steve Evans, what good managers really want to come to Leeds United? You know, I've sacked so many managers over the last two years. I wouldn't want to come to Leeds United. And, you know, unless you were like somebody managing a smaller club and thought, wow, Leeds United, what a massive club. That'd be great to manage. So I don't think we should sack Steve Evans. I think we should leave it to the end of the season. Remember where the club was before he took over. I mean, we're still only nine points clear of the relegation zone because Ross won again. And we're moving up, up to 15th. Try and get a top half finish. And you know, I won't be happy with the season, but you know, it makes it a lot more respectable. And then we can start to build. And then, you know, if we can start getting a few wins, and then this is a squad we should build around. You know, this is a squad, you know, who can beat Cardiff, who can beat, okay, beat Bolton, who weren't great, but still. And you know, if we can get a few wins in their belt, then we can start to you know, build a squad and then maybe Evans, you know, can keep his place. And then I, I generally think, you know and I don't want to say we can get promoted, but I think if you can get the right signings in um in the summer, sorry, then we can challenge for maybe not playoffs, but if we can get top ten, we can be near up and near the playoffs. That's all for me. Make sure to put your opinion down below. Make sure to check out my other footballing content. It's not about Leeds United. So even if you're a Cardiff fan maybe watching this vlog, um or if you're just a footballing fan in general, make sure to check that out. Please subscribe for more on Leeds Night and other footballing content, and leave a like if you enjoyed. But otherwise, bye.